This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Special thanks to EA for allowing me to participate in this event. My beautiful buddies and welcome to a news update video for the new island living pack so because i am ea game changer i was able to go ahead and join in on a private live stream for us of us guys who couldn't be there in la which was super duper nice of the sim gurus and there i was able to take some notes for you guys and share some i guess like frequently asked questions i think that everyone's having right now so i'm gonna update you guys like right now and I have like a list made of everything that I took in from the live stream and yeah here we go okay so the world in total has 14 lots um, and it is called Sulani and I for forgive me if I like just butcher a lot of these names because they are really really cultural I guess and you know me <laughs> there's also gonna be three new floaties um that could actually go inside the ocean which is really really exciting so it'd be really cute to see your sims just like floating around and chilling in them that's something that we haven't seen before um there's a new venue type um which is of course beach um we had three new deck chairs and one that's coming to base game so even if you guys um don't pick up island living you will still have um a, a deck chair which will be nice because we don't have to like you know do the whole move objects things um anymore to like make a fake one <laughs> um and there are three neighborhoods in total um sharks can actually appear but they are rare um but they can kill your sim um so yeah that's interesting um ocean swimming right now is just bound to sulani but they said that there is an open door to possibly um, making it for all the worlds in the future. So they might update it later. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty pretty cool. I'm I'm I'm, I'm okay with that for now. <laughs> if it means that like there's no lag and no bugs. Um, and the, um, lots can be built over the ocean, which meaning that we have, like, a new foundation type, like, so you can build over, like, the stilts now over the ocean, so that'd be really, really cool. Um, I'm sure people will have, like, really interesting, like, looking builds i can't wait to see people's like um like beach homes and like if they decide to like i don't know like fake making like a houseboat or something like that that'd be pretty cool as well um and also too something new with this pack is uh, festivals so culture is like a big one like culture and heritage are gonna be um are gonna be a big things in this and big things in this pack um for to learn more about the heritage and the culture the local culture you can join i'm like join in and drinking this new juice um festivals are random and i believe that they can occur on different days of the week um and there's different types of them um one of the neighborhoods is called the oh ohanali ohanali i can't really say it <laughs> um and you can follow the balloons to get there to the festivals um one of them is a island celebration with a classic fire pit in the middle um and there there are fishing tournaments which is something new um there's also gonna be this new spirit it's kind of like a spirit um called email elementals yeah elementals um if you do good things that they reward you if you do bad things they punish you they didn't go into real specifics about like what these bad and these good things could be but i'm guessing like if you do something bad like maybe like litter the beach or something like that i'm assuming like maybe you get a shark after you or maybe the volcano will erupt or something like that because if you do live near a volcano um lava bombs may occur and if you break them open sometimes after like the fire goes out you might find collectibles which is pretty cool um there's also new recipes there's a new fish dinner um koala pork and there is a new island veggie feast um i believe that there is like from a picture from one of the like the 
local, not local, like one of the recent pictures um, that like came up for the promo. There's like this fire pit, which are like these like veg with this like really big leaf over it, and I'm guessing that's like the whole veggie feast that they're like talking about. Um, also, too, in Kaz, you can make a mermaid in Kaz or in game. Um, either is up to you. I believe that there is about like. I, I didn't count, but I think there's about 9 to 12 different swatches for scales for your Sims um, in Mermaid. And they will have a normal human, like, life state. And they'll also have, like, a, um, whatchamacallit, like a, like a mermaid life state itself. So kind of like the vampires and the aliens and things like that and all the other cults, like, where they have, like, their normal human selves and then, like you know, like, their, their real self, I guess you could say, <laughs> um, and there's also a new aspiration, and it's going to be under location, there are two new traits, and one of them is called, um, Child of the Ocean, for gameplay, this is really, really cute, so if you guys own cats and dogs, your dogs can actually swim in the ocean, and I cannot wait to see that, because the sim guru said it was really, really cute, <laughs> And adorable and I can only imagine um and the toddlers can also splash around in shallow water as well as build sand castles which I am sure are completely adorable too um children can also go snorkeling in the waiting areas um so yeah your children will have something to do too they they can't go diving in the deep areas but they can go in like the shallow area um, there are, there is a new ladder, but it's only for going down to the ocean for, like, on stilts and things like that, um, which is kind of unfortunate, but, um, that's something that they said that they'd be open in the future to adding, like, more North Stair types as well. Um, there is going to be a new eco career that you guys have probably seen in the trailer, um, and there are going to be smaller odd jobs, like, being a lifeguard and being a fisherman and things like that and they didn't go into real specifics about like what those would entail but um i'm i'm sure that maybe they'll work more kind of like the kind of like i guess like the jobs that we got an update for which maybe are more like do-it-yourself kind of jobs i don't know we'll see we'll see um i there also is gonna be um part-time jobs for all ages i believe it's going to be an update for everybody um which that would be interesting that would be cool um also too there's going to be a new fan that will dry dry and cool off sims and it also will save money um so if you have like seasons and things like that you obviously know that the air condition or like cost money and things like that so they've been adding some like more eco-friendly kind of things in here to kind of like go along with the new career um also something too for your eco-friendly sims your sims can actually bathe in the waterfall because there's gonna be a new waterfall and also your couples can also go woohoo in it <laughs> which will which will be kind of funny but i'm assuming it will be beautiful maybe i don't know i'm 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 wondering how this waterfall is gonna look like i'm sure it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous um yeah i can't wait to see it anyway um boats and aqua zips are also gonna be new aqua zips are the new form of um like jet thingies like the the jet boat thing you guys know what i'm talking about i think in the sims 3 they call them aqua sleds um i can't think of the real word for them right now um they're not jet skis are they no i don't know you guys know what i'm talking about um your sims can actually use them in open water um it is unclear right now whether you can travel places with them that's something that um i never really got an answer for but i guess we'll see in the near future um you can use them off the pier so it, like i you put them in the water and from there you click on them that's how you use them um there also is no hotels right now or circular pools but there is um a door open for them in the future um the world is a livable world so uh, your sims will um be able to like just go ahead and live in there it's not a vacation world which is really exciting um and personally for me that was like a real thing that i was really really hoping for I was really, really hoping that your Sims could like live, live up, live there off the bat because 
I think it would it, it would have been a shame if such a beautiful world that we our sims couldn't live there all the time. Um, but yeah, the pack is super duper exciting. I cannot wait for it. Um, and yeah, I can't wait and then to go ahead and dive into more content with you guys. But yeah, that's what all I have for you guys for today. So make sure you guys go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any more questions down for me below, I will be happy to answer them. And if you don't already subscribe to me, please subscribe. I also have a save file I'm currently working on is a throwback save file and guys I have one more lot to do until the entire thing is finished so I'm really excited for it we're currently um, on strange town um, so I'm gonna try my best to get that out for you guys before this pack comes out but we will see because um, I've done a lot off camera as well well um, to go ahead and be able to like finish it on time for you guys and like get it out really soon so yeah that's really exciting um, but yeah thank you guys all again for watching